Right, on Trace Guare this morning, we are wrapping up the month uh, where we are handling matters uh, mental health. What are we talking about? I mean, to maybe take a pandemic, and it didn't start just now. I could add another pandemic, but you know, just issues matters, matters mental health. How healthy are you on your mind? How healthy are you? That affects a lot, a lot, a lot about your well-being, my dear. And as we wrap up this conversation or wrap up the month, your mental health, we have two guests about the advocates for mental health. Yes. Which is here here? Advocates for yes. mental health, and we are talking about Onyango Otieno and Edgar Ojiabo. Yes, wako hapa na sisi in the studio and we'll be getting into a conversation with them. And we are ha we, we're handling issues about uh, the various issues that the society has. Na saizi tumepidia pa pandemic. If you remember, Calvin, there was this young man who called and said, tutakufa na depression, na nja. Na kumbuka. Na kumbuka. So yes. there's a lot of people who are depressed because maybe wamepoteza kazi, wengine, um, uh, you know, walifutu wa kazi, wengine mushara ilikatu wa nusu, and people are, it's like we're not patient with one another. If you look, Kenya is easy. The best place to see how impatient Kenyans are, or they don't have kindness with one another, is on social media. Yes. Eh? True. Una adika tu of kitu, una nyeshewa na inchimuzima. They are trying to kill you before your death. Mm -hmm. eh? True. It shows we are not healthy mentally. But let me not try and delve into that conversation. What advocates when you are okay? So, Mr. Onyago and Mr. Edgar, Karibuni kwa studio. Sante, Sante. Sante, Sana. Yes. yes. Uh, otherwise, <laughs> Vida Mini Nawagaria, you look mentally healthy. We're trying. Yes. We're trying. Tell us about the advocacy and uh, a little about your story. How do you end up being a mental health advocate and what does that mean? Well, um, I'll try shorten it. Who is Edgar? Otieno. Edgar Otieno, yes. Onyango Otieno. Onyango Otieno. Oh, you know Edgar? Yes. Karibu afanaya na obali. Yes. Um, I started mental health advocacy in 2017. Yes. Um, and it was at the backdrop of having gone through suicide ideation and uh, depression. Ah, yeah. Yes. And. Um, Ata mutu kama wewe anaeza idea la like suicide. Hey, wengi sana wengi kama wana kaka mami. Uwede wapi? Si, uko paliku ingine paliku na mani. <laughs> Alright. All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, I had been going through a very difficult time. Mm hmm. I didn't have a job and I was coming off a toxic relationship um, but it was a time when that feeling was very familiar to me because I had been through depressive uh, episodes for a couple of times mm -hmm. in my life yes. since teenagehood yes. and what was different this time is I wrote about it publicly. So when I came out with the story mm -hmm. um, that I, I contemplated suicide and I, I feel like I'm depressed, like the feedback I got from a lot of people made me more curious, like how come I don't read about these stories from people, like guys were in my inbox, like yo, atamimi, 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 mm -hmm. um, I can relate to what you're saying and all that. So when I started going to therapy, um, I realized that there's so much information I do not have mm -hmm. about how to take care of my mind yes and i said because i i didn't see enough kenyan stories african stories about mental health matters i'm gonna use my story it's to, mostly stigmatized that's exactly, why we don't yeah, talk about yeah. it yes and because I'm, I'm a writer and i'm an artist and i'm a poet mm. i said this is what I'm, I'm gonna start doing more of so just to, to get more people to talk about this and even further mm. um the fact that men on the other scale of things where they don't talk about this mm -mm. stuff mm -mm. and they have also experienced the highest suicide rates Nikweli. i was like watch an young gay no no mm. there are so many things that go with that because like even it's the men who look at you and they're like oh that's amazing you too oh no no behave come a day mm. stuff too more mm -hmm. you know mm. but i was like e in life young Yes. And, and that's okay. Mm. Yeah. So that's what helped you start the advocacy. Yeah. All right. Give me a little bit more details about your credentials and uh, whom do you are? Uh, <laughs> I'm a trauma therapist. Yes. I am a writer. I'm a poet. I am also the community manager at Mental Health 360, which is a mental health organization. Yes. Um, we work with uh, people who need psychological support or psychiatric mm -hmm. support mm -hmm. 
um, I operate a safe space for sexually abused boys and men mm-hmm. um, who also are very stigmatized because of those situations. Mm. Yeah, and I'm a digital storyteller, so I write my stories online and, you know, we have communities where people just come and have dialogues about different kind of things. I like that. Incredible. Very, very, very good story. We'll be getting into all of that um, stuff that you're doing at 360. Now, the other gentleman to your, you need right? You need right. To your right. Yes. Edgar. Yes. I feel like we've met before. We might have. Yes. Uh... So kumbuka ni wapi? I will remember. Yes. Mungu kwa mwenda kwa Japan. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> now we have Edgar Edgar Ojembo. Tell me about yourself and what you do. Um okay. So Edgar Ojembo, let's see. Um my story starts when I was 13. Okay. Um always had anxiety, mm-hmm. but I didn't know. Oh. I didn't know about all this. Um until 2015. So when I got to 2015, I had a mental breakdown. Okay. Um, where now I wasn't able to eat anymore very well. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't able to focus on anything. Mm-hmm. I w- I disassociated from my friends. Mm. Um, and then you know, living life was just difficult. Mm. I I think just like um, Onyango said, uh, even suicide ideations were there. And my moods were just really low, and this went on for quite a period of time, maybe three months. Yes. And and that time is when you know I realized, okay, there's something that is off. Mm-hmm. And this is all just because of, uh, I guess, the upbringing that I had. Okay. It was a bit difficult, um, uh, toxic environment at home, and I I needed an outlet. I needed to express the things that had gone through yes. and um, also put links to what I was facing at that time mm. to know what was going on with me. Mm. Because for a long time, you know, you look at others and everyone looks normal. Na, eh, then you look at yourself eh, and you're saying, I, me okay, go off. I'm off. There's yes. something that is just not right here. But I want to be like these other guys. So I reached out to my mom and I asked her to give me um, numbers for counselors that she may know. Yes. Mm. And I asked her because she was studying psychology at the time. Uh-huh. But I wanted someone to help me that was not Your linked mom. to my family. Yes. Sana sana my mom. Because yeah. I was Sa- also Sa- that time, yes. we were very close. Yeah. But yeah. I know there's that bias of a mom and stuff. I was like, no, I wanted someone who didn't know me, but could see through me. Mm. So, yeah, I got, I got someone. And um, therapy started um, later that year in 2015. And it's been a very amazing journey. Yes. Um, full of ups and downs. I wouldn't just say it's just a smooth. You know, it's not smooth thing. Mm-hmm. It's been up and down all the time. Um, but I came out with my story in 2017. Just like Onyango, I came out publicly. I think on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What What got me to do that is a guy, a friend of mine, introduced me to, and we we're just talking about mental health matters. Yes. And and I felt that you know this conversation needed to happen, but I didn't know who to talk to. Mm. So I talked to this guy, and he also came. He showed me a post that he had put up of yes. what he had been going through, mm. and that's what gave me the courage to go and put up my story. Mm. And you know, with mental health matters, stigma, as Alban said, uh, was still very very high. Very high. Mm. You know, so you're not so sure if you come out with this story who how it's going to be received yes and by who mm-hmm. and at the time i think with facebook i have a lot of family members mm. <laughs> let alone friends <laughs> have a lot of family <laughs> members <laughs> yeah. mm. so these are guys you know who've seen me grow up mm. they know our home they know my mom they know my dad and they know my sister and all that but now it's going to give a whole different story yes so anyway i went that night and i typed out something and i posted it and the reactions were to, to my surprise, mm. they were very, very good, very oh. positive. Um, very few guys were negative, yes. but most guys were compassionate, considerate, and were just, yo, even me, even me, even me, I've gone through this, or oh, I know someone who's going through that. Mm. So that started the conversation. And after that, all I've just been doing is just posting stuff, Stories sharing. Uh, sharing certain things that I've gone through yeah. that are linked to my mental health. Yes. And courtesy of that, I've gotten people reaching out to me, telling me their stories as well, um, wanting links to people who they can talk to, mm. um, how to go about certain situations, be it like relationships, marriages. Yes. I, I'm not a counselor like Onyango, but mm. I mean, sometimes I found myself counseling people mm-hmm. just because of what Good I'm, sense I'm is good sense. sense. Yeah. yeah. Yes. In, in, okay. So yeah. No, just continue. No. So in the years since um, both of you have shared your stories, 
Um, would you say that stigma levels for mental health ailments have gone lower? Are people freer to talk about it? Are you know, is society taking it easier? Because now, when I have conversations with so many different people, even right here at our office, we're all about making sure that mental health is super, super vital. You get what I mean, right? Mm. So, very, very important. I know the other day we had a counselor who was here, yes. Atonga, Nongia, Nawatu, all of those were I actually... I check out, because some of the things that she was mentioning, mm. Kama Kuwa Muka Na Utengenezi Kitanda. Yes. Yeah. yeah it those, also shows something. Well, me, I'm in that category. Alafu, <laughs> beyond the last week. That was equal to thing. Yes. yes. So many of these different kind of things. Um, from people who are in it, how has it been? Have we taken positive strides towards, uh, you know, the fight towards stigma and everything to do with mental health? I would say yes. The progress is immensely positive mm -hmm. because three years ago we were not having these kind of conversations on radio, mm. on TV. They weren't happening. Um, and But still, like... Okay, in a bigger, the bigger, the larger picture, so much has moved. Like to the point where the president will put up uh, a mental health task force. Yes. yes. That tells you the nation is moving somewhere. Mm. But in in qua ground, qua hmm? ground, qua ground, huh? this conversation mostly is still happening only in urban places. Only in urban yeah. places. Majority of the rest of the country, Yabana. which is like seventy percent of where Kenyans really live, perhaps. Yo, stigma is like beyond heaven. It's mm. just somewhere else. You know, when you queue up code that when you are from to say machinani, have na biya mutu I want to go and see a shrink. I'm a psychologist, and I could use another. Is on your watch as a talker in jail. Yeah. Because mm. then having a conversation about the mental, your the, the well-being of your your brain. Um, it's still a, it sounds like an elite I'm a, uh, you know that's yes. why now you need mm -hmm. but, counseling but but but, but um, you know from you guys right Uneza Sema is this yes to make president I'm meeting in a task force so so isn't it to Znanza Kufanyo Kwa Grau are there initiatives that you've heard about because what I'm saying and this is a very good conversation that we're having because Nai yes major up and down but one right Nai in a population of about what maybe five million something like that mm -hmm. Kenya has a population of about 52 million so you can see where the masses are and uh unaskia gaocha msia mekatu msia mefanya nini unajoocha ndi wasea unasema ga ah Alvan, wogali cheesy, yen cheesy flani. They don't, yeah, alitu pambao. They don't really give too much significance to it, right? How would you say that has trickled down? Not only devolution, yes, to make it devolution, your health and everything. But vitu kaizi, how's it going? Um, I mean, in terms of initiatives, I think for someone like me, maybe who's privileged enough to be in. Uh, to have a social media account mm -hmm. to go and search through these things. There are a lot of guys who are doing a lot of great work mm -hmm. with regard to mental health. Yes. Amazing. In fact, that's probably how I also found him, uh -huh. you know. And then um, that conversation is now being taken to very, very, you know, very many spaces. Um, for example, there is a program, this uh, Nyango, uh, where he used to work, they launched and they're doing it um, with the police. Allah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So you see, now that for me, I never saw it from that end of, you know, cops are those guys you see on the, uh. on the road and you, you either you're panicking or you're already annoyed. Mm. Yeah. You know? Ama, ama, ama ushatu wa wale. Ushatu wa wale, you're like, eh, sawa, sawa, ni hiyo nataka nda kwa kia. But now, we're in this, pro we're in this launch and you're hearing cops telling you a bit of what they go through yes. on a day to day. How and yewe. The trauma is immense. Mm. These guys need outlets. But you see, also dealing with uh, um, a force that also has a lot of stigma and very old school ways of doing things. Yes. Mm -hmm. So by the time, let's say Calvin here wants to, um, you know, make, I mean, draw a share story. Mm -hmm. Alvan is his superior. Alvan will look at him and tell him, ah, please go to hell. Mm -hmm. What I tell me here, go. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, but he still has to go out there and still face the same trauma every other day. Yes. Now, the system doesn't allow. It doesn't allow. Mm. But there's good work. The conversation is in those spaces, mm. you know, which means a lot. And I think now we need to get to the place where we can go to Mashinani. Mm. We can go to low settlement areas and tell guys, you know, when you feel this, or when you do that, when you are raised in such an environment, mm. you may be impacted 
you know, in such and such a way. Mm. And this is probably how you could go about it, you know. And um, I'm also hoping that with the mental health task force that was um, um, commissioned, launched, yes. launched um, these guys can also help in driving this conversation agenda. and agenda ah, yes. far beyond the urban yes. areas. Yes, because when we had the senator here in Shebeshia, they've both of them, they're in government and everything, and mm -hmm. I like what they've done, you know, tabling the bill to the Senate, to the House, uh, talking to even Dr. Frank Jenga, you know, advisor to the president, all of these things have been done. But the problem usually is this, kitu inakuwa sexy saizi, Alafu watu wanaata kuongelelea yeah, about it. Leo, yes. ina, 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 ina. Now Shoni Trace Ngware with Alvan and Calvin and today we're having a conversation rather continuing with a conversation all about mental health as we've been doing for the month of May. Yes, for the last three weeks to make one a different people who've come in and today we thought, you know what, let's further this conversation as we conclude it. And I've got with me Mr. Onyango Tieno and of course uh, Edgar Odiambo as well. And you are locked on to 95.3 Trace Radio. If you're in Nairobi, Mombasa is all about 92.0, Kisumu 99.1, Nakuru 91.8, Eldoret 90.9. Napia, Uneza Tuskiza online at www.traceradio.co.ke. Al? Yes. So, um, uh, let me start with you, um, uh, Mr. Edgar. You talked about Ulitaja Kitu at the beginning of our conversation this morning, kuhusu how you felt. Um, unangadia wale wengine na unaona ni kama unataka kukua kama wale. Mm. Right? But you necessarily don't know whether they're healthy or not. You're just looking from from the outside yes. and we unajiona ukochini. But they, they look better because, I mean, you can literally and probably shed light on this one, anyone. Because you'll be surprised there are people who look very good. Mm -hmm. Very nicely dressed. Yes. Their countenance, I'm a paka mafuta. Yes. I'm a paka ta karemi, I'm a baby oil. <laughs> they look fine. Like in Dani, ni mugonjwa. Yes. Tell me your specific, in, in very few words, not very few, but just enough, um, of the journey of your healing. From pale mwanza, uli chukuli ya wapi, mm -hmm. alright, na imefika wapi, and what you felt while you were going through that. You, you talked about going to get a counselor. Yes. So... Uh, my mom gave me numbers for a counselor. Yes. Actually, she gave me three numbers. Mm. I settled on one person. And then we did an assessment. So it's just like a, an exam. Mm -hmm. uh, and you have to answer it. There are about, I think it was like 100 questions. Mm -hmm. And you have to do it in one go. You can't, you can't take breaks. Like you do 10 and then you go, come back. What kind of questions are these? <laughs> <laughs> so you, they, your assessment, they, yeah, you kama uko nayo, if you are, you are... Yeah, it's like to get a diagnosis. Okay. So to, whether to know, you know, whether it's anxiety, whether it's depression, whether it's both. Mm -hmm. It could be anything. Anxiety, depression, bipolar, skills. Give an example of anything. two questions. Wow, can I even remember? <laughs> but they just touch on how, I guess, you do your daily, your daily activities. Mm -hmm. And you're given like on a scale of maybe 1 to 5 or 1 to 10. And however you score, mm -hmm. they have their score sheet and it will it will confirm whether you have one thing or the other mm -hmm. yeah so after the 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 diagnosis, assessment yes. i got a diagnosis of yes. severe anxiety and depression what does that look like um so with anxiety what that looks like is heart palpitations where your, your, your heart is beating very fast mm -hmm. your mind is racing with um, negative and intrusive thoughts mm -hmm. You don't see anything positive about life. Um, you, I used to get chest pains. Mm -hmm. So literally it's like someone is pressing into my chest mm -hmm. with something really sharp. Mm -hmm. um, I used to get very tense around my throat and I'd get very fidgety. So I can't just sit still. Mm -hmm. I'll always just, you know, fidget around, yes. move around because I can't sit still, you know. Um, and then I couldn't sleep. That affected my sleep, it affected my eating yes. uh, patterns as mm. well. Now with the depression comes sadness that you can't shake off. Mm -hmm. So when someone tells you, Alvan, just wake up and you know shake it off and just move, it, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't work like that. It's another day. It's another day. It's another day to be sad and it's a whole day to be sad. Mm. You know? And then, so that's a long, prolonged time of being sad. You don't have energy. So someone is telling you, get up, try and make your bed, try and go for a walk. Yeah. You don't have that yeah, energy. Nini. Yes. Why am I doing it? Yes. Curtains remain closed, so you prefer darkness. Uh -huh. So the weird thing about anxiety and depression is that you want to be out of it, but you don't have the energy to get 
you out know, of, it, out it's, of it's, it. it's a slap, snap out of rat. Exactly. It's a rat you're stuck in. Exactly. Mm. Yes. It's a rat you're stuck in. Mm. Exactly. Yes. So all you want to do is, and then you find some people also have, um, they sleep, they oversleep. Mm. There's a one mm. like that, mm. you know. Mm. So instead of just the eight hours, you do the eight hours and then you end up sleeping maybe for another, during the day, another two, three hours. But it's just because your, so, your body is just in a push and pull constantly. Mm. Mm. So the anxiety heightens things and then the depression slows things down. So it's just a push and pull. But but let me ask you, with that said, and yeah. you guys are the professionals over here, but kuna time mtu wambio skiza mwili yako. Mwili yangu ineza kuwa inaniambia, like for me on Sundays, eh? mm. Sundays are very, uh, what do you call it, slow days for me. Because wiki zangu wagateki. Unateki mm-hmm. masa zetu alva ni mm-hmm. nini, mm-hmm. wax nini na fika mm-hmm. home. As in, may pull mm-hmm. 12, 13 hour mm-hmm. days on a given day. Sato ni socialize ni ni nini. Sunday ni le time Taki my body pff, yes. inatulia. Mm. Na niki mess na Sunday, eh. Monday yangu, my anxiety is up like that. You get? But all of, iyo, iyo ni venye mina jijua. Kuna wadhi wengi sana awa jijui. Una get? Then there's also the societal norm. Mseta ambio. Alva ni kawa ume amka uka jisikia. Leo si jisiki. Leo ni kawa ofki. Uko ofki. Wasewa na kuambia. F sharp minor. But you, yes. yes. Minor. Yes. Wasewa na kuambia. You are lazy. Mm. Una leo. Is, is all of this information out there for people to know? Ama, you know, like I'm, I'm stuck between. Uh, help me Alva. Eh? Yes. I'm stuck between. Do you know you know? Or don't you know? Y- you know. And probably, yeah, but probably the direction we should go with yeah. ni kuna, is there a template? I'm a, this is not a template. Is there a moment in your life, um, okay, grow up, where you can say, um, I was like this? Looking back. I, yeah, mm. and I was happy. I was. Is that what you use to know whether you're okay now? Or where do you get the source? I'm a kujua. By the way, Leo, squeezy. Inakuanga F sharp minor constantly. Is there a reference point that you can... Because I'm saying I'm a G-E-L-E-W-A. Like, you know, you're dumb. You're dumb. For just a regular person, how do you figure out that you know what something is going off? And it's not just fatigue. Tio Kuchoka, too. Well, um, I have many answers for that, but I'll try to be as simple and short as possible. Mm-hmm. Now, all of us had different kind natures of childhood. Mm-hmm. Uh, your time. And you know, at that point when you're saying different natures of childhood, yeah. oh, what about Calvin? If you went through the entire childhood and you are mentally unwell, yeah. when do you know yeah. whether it's a full exactly. sunny day or not? Yes. Yeah. And you know, one of the reasons I say that is because we have to step out of society mm-hmm. to look at society like nile piche kopale necessity to up. People exist within societies, and societies also have different cultures, which are informed by different beliefs. Okay. Cool. So, kuneza kwa na kitu yenye ni sawa kwa community yako, but kwa community yake, uh. it's off. Yeah. Iko off F minor. <laughs> Kama uyu, wanaedeshanga bio kwa community yao. Yeah. They drive at 160 kilometers per hour. Mm-hmm. That gives me anxiety. You, you get, Calvin. You, get you, you see that? <laughs> yes. So those are cultural things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there is no template. The template is not there. Mm-hmm. This is very personalized. It's a, because there is nobody like yours ever in this world. Body yako alva ni mwili yako. Yes. Kili yako ni moja peke yake. Yes. Like, you, your brain is only one blueprint. The way you think, yeah. the way you... It's only yes. one. Of course you are affected or socialized or conditioned by where you come from, your mm-hmm. environment and mm-hmm. all those things. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, the brain is yours. Mm. So the way your brain could take pain could be different from him and could be different from me and mm. his would be different. Yes. Right? Uh-huh. How we process things is very different. Yes. For example, um, maybe unaweza imagine kama umetoka from a violent home for example mm-hmm. na uko na siblings yeah mm-hmm. many times unapata mtoto mmoja ama wawili wali experience hiyo nyumba very differently from wewe na mtu mwingine na uko nyumba moja eh unajiuliza ai wazazi wetu ni same na kila kitu ni same you know mm-hmm. because of how we process things so bottom line is that self awareness and self knowledge 
you may for example kama venye muuliza kama kama ulikuwa childhood nzima ulikuwa unwell na hujui ni mm-hmm, nini mm-hmm. what will you fall back to mm-hmm. okay it gets harder even more because the kind of society we are growing up in is is extremely violent yeah so you do not, we do not have enough healthy models to look at mm-hmm. to say mm-hmm. mm-hmm. mazi alivana na kumakupoa maisha yake ni fit na una ako fresh because many times maybe na una alivana amevapoa but ana struggle na mimi sijui unaona so for me i would say the way out mm-hmm. is to have more of these conversations mm-hmm so that more people can have an idea mm. of what health and wellness looks like yes because there are people who've never known it yeah so if i say we are going to use a template some people won't relate to that yes but if we talk more about how wellness looks like how well being looks like mm. how great mental health looks like mm-hmm. then more people can be able to idealize because essentially our brains work with what we see mm-hmm. and our brains are simulation machines you mm. just repeat what you see so the if, image yeah so mm. if you see more images of more people living a healthier life then you start to internalize that mm-hmm. yeah there you go uh, i want to give a shout out to Lydia Asena ambaye amesema kenyeji asubuhi by Trace East Africa is a sure plug mm. to discover Kenyan musicians with the real local sound. Yes. Anasema she loves it. Uh, hashtag #katolo hashtag #rainokaboom and so many others. All right, there you go. Tupe shouts unaweza tutumia pia WhatsApp on 0722915953. Now your wimbo nimededicate here say water wa boda. Of course that is one of the most recognized sectors right here in the 254. It's changed the lives of many young people not only from the, the Kisi, right? Una joyo song it's in the Kisi community, right? Yeah, I want to dedicate But, to a Bara Baba. A Bara Baba. <laughs> Yes, to it's a guzia. Now, shout out to all of the guys in the in the you know in the boda industry. I think at times we talk so negatively about them, but pia tunafaa tuongea a bit positively about them. Yep, that's the song. Kenya jingine itakuja kesho asubuhi. You're locked on to Trace Radio and of course Trace Ngware with Alvan and Calvin a tuko all the way mpaka sane. Having a brilliant conversation about mental health. Na nimesema in about 3 uh, 4 minutes or so. Yes. Toko tunafungua phone line. I want to take about 3 calls or something you guys get to ask the mental health advocates that we have in the studio this morning niko na mr onyango na odiambo these are guys who've been through it eh to to say about suicide they've ideated that idea right and they've come forth wakasema oh i struggled with this and struggled with that mm. and all of those right having a very interesting conversation right um the one thing that you touched on at the beginning and i know a lot of people are listening to this interview and wondering where can i get some help mental health is not cheap we had uh we had tabitha who was here a couple of weeks ago mm. and she said you know uh ineza you might have to buy medicine the medicine is not cheap it's here cheap that is the one thing i have bought those dawas i can tell you i bought them for a friend um so they're not cheap but where is it that one can begin their journey where can i have someone listen to me someone guide me someone hold my hand at well technically it's supposed to start with your neighbor mm. and your friend and yes. your colleague mm-hmm. that is a sustainable way out all right um and in fact for me one of the dangers of typically going to a professional and then they have this manual and in this manual you're answering questions on your scale 1 to 5 how do you feel about this about that sometimes we end up treating a symptom and not the root of the, the root cause of the problem mm. okay and which is more what is happening mostly in this mental health space because we still do not have a very um uh, overall understanding of people's experiences and how our brains are affected by those experiences how they are wired exactly. around those experiences exactly. yes yeah, and and in fact even how those experiences rewire them mm-hmm. all right mm. so f- for me in the beginning i never usually start with the professional health mm-hmm. i start with how are your relationships because we are people yeah people mm. no one is an island yeah mm. we are people 
Um, a forest is a forest because it has trees. Trees around. You don't trees. call one tree a, a forest. forest. All right. And in that forest, there are habitats. Every tree is, is its own habitat, its own ecosystem. All right. And so with people, mm -hmm. that is where we must always begin at. How are our relationships? Do you feel you have people around you you can talk to about stuff? Mm -hmm. Because there is other there is no reason why you would come to me. I'm, I'm a psychiatrist, for example. Mm. You've come to me and you've told me that you you have been having sleepless nights. Uh, you can't you can't uh, work well. Mm -hmm. You've been over drinking and mm -hmm. all that. Yes. And all I do is give you tablets and tell you when the meze easy utakuwa sour. <laughs> uh, but bado kuna stress job mm -hmm. na ni boss wako ana ku stress mm -hmm. si hizi madawa zitakusaidia yes unaona so ni bibi yako ana ku stress ni bwana yako ana ku yes azita kusaidia mm -hmm. unacheki mm -hmm. so we have to have a wholesome and holistic conversation about help and support mm -hmm. right and so yes in the beginning friends relationships uh you know workspace and and all that mm -hmm. and you know even things like traffic by the way if you just look at the way this city is planned angalia tu wewe by the time umefika job na uko kwa umoina yenye imegonga mziki asub as in usha choka <laughs> usha choka umetokea asubuhi hey, yes umeenda job msana expect high quality production mm. from you the yes. whole day five umerudi kwa ile umoina Pap. Umefika mtaani mtoi wako na kungojea sasa kama na hii story ya CDC unaambozi you print nini saa mbili uprint uende utafute lizard uwe uwe hiyo <laughs> lizard <laughs> alafu ukaushe unaona upeleke mtoi mtoi apeleke mwalimu asubuhi yes you can't hack that it's not sustainable you get mm. so these are the things it, it has to go hand in hand with uh, structural changes in a country mm. okay M how is movement like uh, do you feel safe moving about uh, is the market accessible for you are jobs accessible for you um, are you uh, desires for example um access to reproductive health access you know like how are those things like ukifeel mgonjwa saa hii na maybe kwa emergency kuna ukienda hosi watangoje utoedo kwanza ndio wa ku treat ama utakufa kwanza those are the conversations so mental health iko hapa but it is attached to many so other many things. other factors but in yes. terms of that professional support mm. so the government uh, through madari hospital actually offer very um affordable mwananchi like um rates first of all goje yes. umesema madhare kichwa wangu ikaenda stigma mood exactly alikuwa madhare eh huyo huyo ako off mm. unaona mm -hmm. so and it's because we do not know because of the stigma that has been associated unajua actually what people do we bundle our family members to madhari because yeah. We do not have skills to how to know how to take care mm. of them. Mm -hmm. Many people go to Madari and get sicker than who they what they were before they went in. Oh no. no. Because of lack of support. Yes. Unajo huyo abandonment peke yake. Man, you even die in your spirit. That's the part. Mm -hmm. You get. So for me I'm just telling people we have to broaden our empathy. This thing has to do with empathy. Edgar kinikujia aniambia ana feel hivi. Sifai kumwambia wewe una feel ni amka toa hiyo kitu uendelea kwa mwanaume. You know, I just said okay, uh is a mazee una feel hivi leo naweza kukusupportaje? Nikukall saa saba tena nikucheki ama you know ama nini ni unacheki? Ama wakati huu msee like for example you see ubonga sana online as Instagram Twitter nini nini. Nikiona ame post kitu yenye naka ni kama leo boys are yuko poor narusha tu text tunajua like eh hey, bro ni aje umemkafiti leo nini nini sikitu tu simple ameandika hapo facebook the hey. sun is not shining today <laughs> leo jua <laughs> jawaka <laughs> na ilikuwa unaona mm. una get so it's it's there so from madari hospital like they have a hotline where you can call in and um today now because of this covid situation these guys could give you counseling services kwa simu and you're not paying mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah Um, so like I don't know if do, should I give the number or yeah proceed yeah. proceed give the okay. number so there are two numbers from Madari Hospital and they also um, they also collaborate with the Red Cross mm -hmm. and there is one hotline is uh, the number is one one nine nine just that one one nine nine which mm -hmm. could be easier to remember 
um, you just dial in, you just, you know, put your case forward, wherever you are from in this country, mm. and they would be able to, to assist, and mm. this is 24 hours. And then the other number is 0721-336-017, 0721-336-017. This yes. is also still Madari, yes. and it serves the same purpose. Mm. I will right. be tweeting out those numbers so that yeah. uh, everybody can get them. Yeah. Mm. And of course, uh, just as we wrap up, tell me a little about Mental360. You'd mentioned it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so Mental360 is a mental health organization that seeks to support persons who uh, need psychological and psychiatric um, information mm. and support. Mm. And technically what we do is if you feel you have a, an issue and you don't know where to start and you need a, a counselor who will take you through that journey because it, it has to be a journey, it's a journey yes. um, we connect you to a professional who does that work for you. Um, so you also just give us a call and we take you through that. We are in the process of developing an app where we are going to have like a community in there. Wow. Where now guys who are feeling some type of way can talk to other people yes. who are also witnessing the same things. Mm -hmm. Either it's people who um, have experience around a certain situation that you feel you're in, mm. we are calling them Rafiki. So, ni wali kama, for example, Edgar ameshapitia pitia hii kitu, mm. na we ujui pali utapata Edgar, kwa hiyo app, kina Edgar watakuwa. Mm -hmm. you like know? Mm. And you start from there. Spirit and, of yeah, community. Do that, yeah. So, yes. for us, community is the way forward, and I'm all about communi communal healing, because yes. we don't heal in isolation. No, you Like, can't. today, us guys just talking about this stuff, I'm gonna get out of here feeling like, wow, Leo, ni me, ni me, I started the day in a very good way yes talks to people who understand me mm -hmm. you get mm. and that takes me through the whole day mm. so if you can't have that app and so that the, the way the app is set up is um and we are launching it maybe in like two three months but mm. you know people can just follow mental 360 and see what we're doing um mental 360 yeah yes, mental mm. 360 mm. so anytime you feel when, when, when you guys are launching come back and we can have yeah most definitely most mm. definitely because i mean we'd love for example even you guys in the entertainment industry and you do i mean i don't even know what time you wake up mm. to get here to see by you this get. time <laughs> let's, let's not talk me i'm like today's like the earliest i've woken up in forever mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and i don't know the kind of work pressure you have mm -hmm. i don't know like people i mean even you guys and i just like being real mm. you show up here you gotta mm. work you have to work. You mm. have to show up on this microphone every mm. day. Yes. But I don't know who, who you are when you press that off, off air button uh. and you leave this space. I don't know. <laughs> no, I can tell you who I am. I don't know about Calvin. So <laughs> he goes to the gym. <laughs> Me, yeah. I am half a bag of a potato uh -huh. when I'm done. You go yes. back home and yeah. Chill. It's a half a bag, and if I don't do that, I'm yeah. um, over the weekend. If he doesn't stop on Sunday, Me, yeah. miango ni lazima ni toke ni kue yo viazi for at least uh, one hour or yeah. two, mm -hmm. then I'm yeah. a better person. But it's because he goes to the gym, yeah. but I don't, yeah. right? I work out in the kitchen yeah. with my mouth. Yeah. But I would like probably with uh, for, 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 for you to just trigger a connection yeah. with a couple of questions that on that on the mental assessment test. Yeah. We won't answer them. Just trigger a couple of questions that you ask in there. Because Nataka Monyana Skiriza Sahizi, whoever is listening, to go like, okay, so he in your now, so I should, you know, to so start that, to trigger that internal conversation. Yeah. Some of the questions in that assessment. Yeah. So, of course, like Edgar said, for him, he answered like a hundred questions. Mm. There are many, but I'll just choose like a six few. of them. Yeah. All of them are important, yes. but I'll, I'll just choose a few. Mm -hmm. So one of them is, do you feel detached or distant from yourself? your body, your physical surroundings, mm -hmm. or your memories? Uh -huh. Question number one, two. Do you have thoughts of hurting yourself? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you been feeling panic or frightened overly all the time mm -hmm. recently? Mm -hmm. Have you been feeling down or depressed or feeling hopeless for a long period of time? Mm -hmm. Are you having difficulty finding sleep as usual or you've been feeling like you're low on energy for a long time? Mm. One more. Do you avoid situations that make you anxious? Mm. Ah, yeah. I like that. That's how you know. So we're gonna the journey starts there. So we're definitely going to tweet out some of those, you know, those key words, right? 
to quote no patia all of that information alafu kisha pia niambia one more time where 360 the social media handle mental 360 mental 360 mental 360 to you over to you where can they find you on social media at jamlek jj that's on instagram yes on twitter at jamlek jakababa they can always reach you in case of anything. Anytime. You're open resource. Always. Ah, yes, sir, sir. Thank you very, very much for coming through and shedding, uh, you know, giving us such insight, giving information. I know there's a lot of people who are going to reach out. What we're also going to do is we're going to tweet out your Twitter handles. Anybody who has further questions, who always want to have these kind of conversations in private. So they can always reach out to you guys and they will get the assistance that they need. That has been a conversation all about mental health. We appreciate everybody at Trace who's facilitated this from, you know, Soila, Kinoti, uh, Alvan, myself, Langat, management. We will continue to have this kind of conversations that are about social ill, right? Because this is the way, uh, you know, you start something and you get to have insightful converse conversations. It's not always about you know, just playing music and just having a good time. We also have to talk about things that are actually affecting people in society. We so, in to choke. We in in to, to affect. All right, there you go. Thank you very much, guys, for coming through. Of course, like I said, these are great resources. Mr. Onyango Tieno and, of course, Edgar Odiambo for coming through to Trace Nguare. Hand clap for them in the studio. <laughs> Thanks. Straight back into the music right here on your all-time hit station, Trace Radio. Sides of Ngong Road. Leo Kameshikana Kabisa. Actually, Kameshikana, as you get from uh, Southern Bypass, we pick up with your Nana School. Thanks. Thanks. Appreciate no, but you thanks guys. for having us, bro. But yeah, like um, like you guys said, it is. When we start talking, other people will talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And talk often, talk often. That's the thing. Yeah. Don't talk yeah. once and then yeah. leave it at that. Just talk often. Mm -hmm. In fact, yeah. there's something that a friend of mine uh, we were with yesterday, um, and they're saying that we should try and have the conversation more than just doing it on awareness month. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's not just let's just should do be it. A daily May. Thing. It should be a daily yeah. thing or a weekly thing, mm -hmm. but just let it be a thing that's been happening yeah. much, much often. Like if we can have a segment on a weekly basis, right. once a week, or something. I actually want to do this. We should do a live with the two of you on my on my socials. No problem. And that way we can, uh, you know, we're not constricted for time. Yeah. Yes. And we can just get lost in there and yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any words, words, last words, Calvin? Yeah, man. So, like, um, like they said, make sure you check them out. Brilliant resource, super insightful. It's a conversation that needs to continue on and on, and that's why right here, at Trace, we've been doing exactly that. So, well, get to know yourself, and remember, it's okay not to be okay. okay. Yeah.